You know, I think it's time to get rid of TSA. Although I have to watch out when I say that. Or next time when I fly, they'll sick this guy and his blue glove on me at the airport. Oh, you don't think they'll do that? Ask this guy. Does he look like a terrorist to you? How about her? That's Congressman and former presidential candidate Ron Paul and his wife, Carol. They were detained at Tampa Airport by TSA for being a threat to Mitt Romney. Did you see the vote totals in the Republican primary? Ron Paul was never a threat to Mitt Romney. No, this seems to have much more to do with Ron and Carol's son, Senator Rand Paul, who introduced legislation in Congress to get rid of the TSA and to privatize airport screening. That way, Republicans argue, if a TSA agent harasses someone, overgropes someone, or steals from their luggage, they can be sent packing. I like being able to fire people who provide services to me. Yes, the TSA has become a campaign issue. The Republicans in their platform have called for a complete overhaul of TSA. The Democrats at their convention are supporting TSA, its union, and its 65,000 members. As a matter of fact, they hired some of the blue glove gropers to check delegates as they entered the convention site in Charlotte. For God's sake, somebody help me! That is a woman in Phoenix who thought her pat down was more like sexual assault. Only TSA has some federal protection against such claims. A private company would not. That kind of harassment and claims of theft, racial profiling, and bureaucrats wasting taxpayers' money are pushing TSA to extinction. For instance, Congress recently reauthorized some airports to privatize their screeners. At San Francisco Airport, for instance, they've hired a private firm and there have been no problems. So let's get rid of TSA and do it quickly before I have to fly again, because I know there's a blue glove out there with my name on it.